What's up, guys? How's it going? It is Matt here. So, I had some comments this past weekend. I've had it coming up on various, when there's things that are going on in the world and stuff like that. And it really get, has, makes me want to do a video like this, guys. You know, conspiracy theories are fun. Um, sometimes they're just cool. If you feel like me, you're a big X-Files fan growing up and you love that stuff. But there's a problem with conspiracy theories, guys. You can get sucked into them very easily. You don't look at the facts all the time. And you come up to conclusions that are completely wrong or just absolutely ridiculous. You know, I did a video uh, after what happened over in Texas regarding this. It was a little philosophy video that I did for you guys. How no matter what we do, there's always going to be evil in the world. There's, it's just part of life. People are, there's a lot of good people in the world, but there's a lot of bad people in the world. As long as there's going to be people in the world, there's going to be evil in the world. There's going to be evil people. There's going to be bad people in the world. There's going to be dictators. There's going to be tyrants. There's going to be gangs. There's going to be thugs. There's going to be psychopaths, sociopaths. There's going to be a lot of stuff. No matter what we do in life, they're always going to be there. Now, like I said, I love a good conspiracy theory sometimes, especially, like I said, I'm, I was a huge X-Files fan growing up. It was like my favorite show. You know, it actually came out on Netflix a while ago, and I like binge watched the entire, like all the seasons. That's just how much I enjoyed that stuff. I enjoy good conspiracy theories, but I've had a past with them. Basically, it was during the last uh, election cycle. Is I got sucked in. Okay, I absolutely got sucked into it. And I got sucked into conspiracies left and right. You know, it's happened before a couple of years prior to that. I got sucked into conspiracies left and right. And it really puts you in a really dark place in your life. It really does. Because if you're sitting there just looking up all the stuff and the bad stuff, and this person is connected to this person, and this is connected to this, and the Illuminati, and all this other stuff, and, this, you know, all you're looking at is the evil in the world. You're seeing a lot of darkness when you're watching this. And when you get sucked into that, it literally drains you it absolutely drains you you'll start noticing if you start doing it all the time you start getting a lot angrier you start voicing political views you start looking for conflicts you start trying to push your agendas and you start doing all this stuff so getting involved that heavily and that deep in conspiracies and believing every single thing you hear from specific internet sources and stuff like that without doing actual research yourself can actually do some really bad things to you in your life all right now there may be some of you out there that say, Matt, you're nothing but a conspiracy theorist because the whole Antifa thing, the November 4th thing that you talked about us and get us all riled up about, if you actually remember what I talked about in those videos, it was nothing to do with conspiracy. It was the fact the Department of Homeland Security specifically designated Antifa as a domestic terrorist threat and that we need to take this threat as a serious threat because every time these masked Antifa kids show up at rallies, People get stabbed, people get hit, people get thrown rocks at, people get pepper sprayed, that people get beat. And it's a real, real thing. If you watched Louder with Crowder, he infiltrated them and they plan to actually do violent attacks on conservative speakers. So what I said in those videos was take them as a serious threat. And I based that off of their plans specifically on their websites that they were talking about on their protests where they blocked traffic saying they were going to do something. I didn't just take it from other internet sources from people saying it. I took it from actual stuff that was actually happening. I basically said, they want us to be stupid. They want us to act. They want us to commit violence against them so they can be justified in the use of their violence and get sympathy from the media. And I said, don't do that. Be the adult. Stay at home. Let these kids throw their temper tantrum and get locked up in prison. So that was not a conspiracy theory. That was fact. And it was actually turned out that there was protests all across the country for the people out there that say oh, nothing ever happened. There was actually protests all across the country. There just wasn't a huge turnout. But it was real. So I just want to throw it out there because, you know, there's this one thing that happened this uh, past weekend. You know, good guy, great guy that I talked to. Um, but I've, I saw on several occasions he talking about it. I saw other people talking about it too. They said something along the lines of Marines landing at Langley. Now it all went back to a specific internet source that actually started pushing this. And the way how they posted it is they made it sound like a Mew was actually like storming the beaches of the Langley. You know what I mean? And it just wasn't the case. It's just not the case. Now, what happens when people get involved in these conspiracy theories and stuff like this, 
is they start getting sucked in and start looking at things that they think are facts. They start putting it together and they start creating their own little storyline, timelines and stuff like this. So I wanted to cover this real quick. So one of the posts actually started out basically said that a small quick reaction QRF, a quick reaction force called a Mu landed at Langley to stop a coup. Okay. And I've saw a lot of people talking about this guys. A mu is not a small, quick reaction force. A mu is a massive size element of Marines, like battalion size element of Marines, that travels around on ships and like carrier strike groups and stuff like that with armored vehicles, Cobra helicopters, Ospreys, full to the teeth of armament. They respond to stuff that happens overseas and they'll fly out to take care of stuff. And they're, the Mews are usually the Marines that store the beaches. When most people think of Marines, they think of Marines storming the beaches. That's what Mews do, okay? A Mew is not, there's nothing about a Mew that is a small QRF force at all. So this whole theory, this whole theory, like some conspiracy theory of Marines landing at Langley is kind of crazy because if a Marine Corps Mew landed at Langley, there would be Ospreys flying around overhead. There'd be Cobras. There'd be other assault helicopters. There'd be Blackhawks. There'd be support by fire positions with machine guns. There'd be Humvees. There'd be LAVs. There'd be AAVs. There'd be all these armored vehicles and everything else would be going on and it would be all over the news. Now, every single one of these websites and uh, other in the youtubers and the specific channels that devote their time to this all pretty much said the same thing but mainstream media is not covering it so you're telling me that if you had an entire mu attacking langley the news wouldn't cover it really think about this guys think about this now, there could be a possibility that there was a training operation that a possibly QRF, which is a MARSOC unit, which is MARSOC is usually attached to MUSE, that could have been landed, could have done something over at Langley for like a training operation. There's a high probability that could happen. I don't know the facts. I haven't heard a single thing about it whatsoever. I haven't heard a single thing about it whatsoever, which tells me that nothing really happened. Because if there's a real thing going on over at Langley, the entire world would know about it. All right, especially in that little area, the entire world would know about it. All right. Now, I also wanted to cover this when it comes to Lake Vegas, what happened in Vegas. There's a lot of people like, oh, multiple this, multiple shooters, all this other stuff. And they're going on and they're like flipping rocks nonstop. Well, this person's connected to the, this person and this person's connected to the, this person. And it's ridiculous. And it's like this game. It's like this never ending puddle of mud that these people get sucked into. And they're constantly looking for an answer and constantly looking for an answer. Evil happened, okay? Evil happened. If you've done any time in service, you'll know what a machine gun or automatic fire sounds like in a city area, and you'll know firsthand that what was going on was actually one attack, one assaulty, okay? One bad guy with a gun. You would know that was what was going on. But a lot of people are going into, well, this guy was a sleeper cell for this and this and for Antifa and for FBI and the CIA and blah, blah, blah. And something went bad and then it went like this. And I've seen so much ridiculous stuff going on left and right. I haven't seen people so much as taking, looking at the videos of the actual victims that are actually taking the videos of it, seeing helicopters in the background like, hey, you, know, you see it shooting right there, a helicopter going down. That helicopter was blinking lights. And the reason it was flying that way is because there's an airport that was close by to it. And if you actually know anything about aircraft, and you could actually judge the size of that helicopter in the distance, it wasn't anywhere close to what was actually going on. It wasn't, okay? If a helicopter was directly overhead, that's all you pretty much hear in the video. That's all you pretty much hear. That's not the case, okay? So stop trying to dig up things where there isn't, okay? Unfortunately, there is evil in the world. There's real evil in the world. We can't stop it. We can't always stop it. We can be ready for it. We can be vigilant for it, but we can't always stop it. Now, I've seen people so far as going that what happened in Texas is like some big NRA conspiracy and stuff like that. It's like, seriously? Seriously? It could not be that some psychopath that was dishonorably discharged from the military who was an atheist who attacked a Christian area was violent attack was stopped by another person with a rifle. Now, 
a lot of people are talking about this left and right. Some people even go as far as saying, well, why is there only cover on this, but none of, none of the other church shootings and stuff like that? It's like, because what happened in this shooting, what's made this so, so much talk about this, is the news was refusing to say that what happened was a good guy with an AR-15 stopped a bad guy with an AR-15. And that goes against the entire narrative that average everyday citizens armed with AR-15 sporting rifles can't defend themselves. So they aren't talking about it. That's why there's so much talk regarding this. And because of it, and there's conspiracies on the left for it. There's conspiracies on the right for it. It's like everything like comes down to like some massive conspiracy. Like, oh, this person was, you know, nothing but a sleeper cell and hired by the military by a distant person like that and to do this. It's like, no, this guy was a freaking psychopath that snapped. That is what happened. Stop looking for trouble where there isn't any, okay? Stop looking for answers when that answer isn't even close. The answer is simple. Evil is real, and no matter what we do in life, there's going to be evil. And the only thing that stops evil is a good person who stands up and stops evil. That is the only, that is the only truth behind it. Now, I'm going on and on about this because there's been a lot of things that have been going on that's all based on a conspiracy and stuff like this. And it's always the same thing. They'll say, well, from an, uh, a reliable anonymous source that works in the deep state and all this other stuff, they say this. And it comes from specifically from a specific channel that says this stuff all the time, but they have no proof of their anonymous sources whatsoever, okay? And they'll say, oh, we're just trying to keep them anonymous like other reporters. But then, if mainstream media, which I don't agree with, I think mainstream media is full of crap, but then mainstream media will actually come out and say that they won't release the names of their anonymous sources, and then this channel that won't release the name of their anonymous sources attacks them because they didn't release their anonymous sources. What is going on is fake news on both sides, and the problem with the connection that everyone has with the internet and everything else these days is there's a lot of crap that people will put up there. A lot of people put stuff out there to dirty the water, to mud up the water. A lot of people aren't just refuse to accept the fact that there's evil in the world. And they gotta find some specific tie to what actually happened, that it's gotta be tied to this person or that person, or it has to be tied, somehow it has to be a, a tie to the government or something like that. And they're constantly digging and digging and digging, and they'll believe every single thing that they hear online, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Twitter, the problem is, is that when you're listening to these people, 90% of what they're saying is their opinion. It isn't based on facts. It's their opinion of what could possibly happen. Then someone else repeats that, well, this person said this, and uh, this could possibly happen. And this is, well, and this could possibly happen. Then it turns into a massive, massive web of ridiculousness. Have you guys ever remembered the game? You probably played this game when you were, you were a kid, the telephone game. You get a line, okay? You get a line of kids. You tell per one person on one side what, something, and you have them pass it to the next person. You start with a story, like a simple story, and you're like, okay, line, da -da 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 -da, whatever the story is, then they pass it to the next person, pass it to the next person. By the time it gets to the end of that telephone line, the story's not even close to what the initial story was. That's just the truth about life. Basically, when you guys are constantly doing this research and conspiracy theories because you simply won't accept the fact that there's real evil in the world, that not necessarily, there, there isn't necessarily direct ties to absolutely everything that's going in the world, that there's actually real evil in the world, and it's very unpredictable. If you start following every single thing that all these different people on the YouTubes, on the Facebooks, on the Twitters, on the Instagrams, that all these people follow, what's gonna happen is basically it's gonna turn into a massive telephone game where the story starts here and then it ends over here and then it's going to be completely different and along the way more people are looking at it and they're adding their own little opinions to it before you know it the story changes into some big massive conspiracy mess and it's ridiculous okay think think for yourselves guys think for yourselves okay just because something bad happened in the world doesn't necessarily mean that there's specific ties to one government or one person or something like that a lot of times, unfortunately, when bad things happen in the world, it's because there's bad people in the world. And those bad people do bad acts, okay? That is yeah. the truth. Anyway, guys, if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me, and remember, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other.